Hey, what's up guys and welcome to this week's video of We Are The Bonsai Supply. I am Jerome and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to clean your trees, your tools as well as your pots. So keeping your bonsai trees, tools and pots clean are such essential bonsai tasks that nobody ever really seems to really be talking about. So the reason why you want to keep the uh, trunks of your bonsai trees clean is to prevent any mold or fungus growth on them. And if you, uh, if you clean your trunks regularly, you might even be able to prevent uh, rot, for instance, on the trunk or decaying dead wood, right? Because you constantly are cleaning it, you can uh, see if something is decaying or is starting to rot and we can correct that right away. So that's really essential. But also keeping your bonsai tools clean can prevent from spreading diseases from one tree to the next tree. So that's also very important. Now keeping the uh, pots clean is just simply for aesthetics. But it's something that I like to do a lot because uh, the pots get stained from uh, water or fertilizer runoff. And so I like to clean my pots as well regularly just to make sure that my bonsai garden always looks neat and presentable. Alright, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that I'm going to show you how to clean is the trunk of your bonsai tree. And I'm doing this now in the fall. This is a great fall activity because this tree got really dirty uh, throughout the summertime. We had a terrible summer here in Georgia. It was very humid and it just rained every single day, multiple times for several months. It was awful and most of my trees are not looking too happy right now. And that's why you can see all of this build up here that's dirty here and even on the dead wood and I'm just a few weeks away probably of having uh, mold and fungus starting to grow on a tree trunk. So I want to go ahead and prevent that before it even occurs. Alright so the first thing that I like to do when I start to clean my trunks is put on some disposable gloves here and then I like to take a dish with about 10 parts of water and I mix that so with a uh, one part of uh, immunox by spectrocyte which is a, a multifungicide and so 10 parts of water one part of the uh, immunox and then I use uh, two different types of uh, brushes one with a more softer bristles and one with a little bit more firmer bristles and what's cool about them is that on the back side they have smaller brushes as well which makes it really easy to go into the crevices and clean those as well and don't worry about everything that I'm going to use here in this video. I'm, on a, I'm actually going to drop all the links below so that it makes it very easy for you guys to find exactly what I'm using here. So first off, I like to start off with the softer bristol. I'm going to give the solution here one more stir. And then I get right into it. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and clean the entire trunk, starting from the top and cleaning it all the way down. So as you can see, the tree looks a lot cleaner already. And look at this dirty water here, so it's really dirty. So you know that I uh, that the tree was really dirty and that it did a good job of cleaning it. So now once I'm at this stage, I like to go ahead and grab my pump sprayer with just regular water and then just clean the trunk. Just wash it all off. So take a look at how much cleaner this trunk looks now. The, uh, tr the bark of the tree came back reddish and then once I paint the uh, dead wood with lime sulfur, uh, which is going to be the next step, it's going to look really, really beautiful. Uh, the contrast between the life vein and the dead wood. And so what I'm going to do here next is actually I'm going to um, paint the dead wood with uh, lime sulfur because the uh, dead wood is still a little moist. So by rinsing it off, by, first of all, by brushing the dead wood and rinsing it off, really opens up the pores of the dead wood, which now allows me to, once I paint the dead wood with the lime sulfur, to really penetrate the dead wood and make it really that bleach uh, white that we all like to see on our bonsai trees. 
So let me go ahead and do that next. All right, so for this job, I'll just use a um, regular lime sulfur and a little brush. And I use it straight out of the bottle. I go ahead like this and then just paint the dead wood. see the lime sulfur first appears yellow on the dead wood and that's because it's still wet so then I'm going to grab this tree put it back out into full sun and then the sun will bleach the yellow into white and will then preserve the dead wood so now obviously you want to move the tree out into full sun when you know that there's not going to be any rain for at least two days so that the lime sulfur can perfectly dry on now once the lime sulfur is dried on perfectly and the dead wood starts to bleach white, I'm going to go ahead and make another solution of the uh, Immunox and water in my pump sprayer and then I'm going to go ahead and actually mist the entire tree. So spray the solution on to then really protect the tree. So you want to make sure that you have probably between two to four days of no rain. So first two days are for the dead wood to bleach and to dry and then the next two days are for the solution to spray on and then also to dry. And then you are ready to go. And so I go ahead now and do this to all of my trees. All right, so next up, we are going to clean a pot. So take a, a closer look at this pot and see how dirty it is. So we have some uh, natural dirt on here. We also have some water stain. We got some fertilizer stain as well. And the pot just looks very unattractive, looks very dirty. So now this is a very simple trick that I like to use and this is something that pretty much everybody has at home. I like to use WD-40 to clean my pots um, and what's cool about this is that it does not remove the patina from the pot. So it does not harm the pot in any way, it just removes all of the dirt and that's it and it has kind of that nice shine to it and it also protects that shine for a couple of weeks. So when I go to a show for instance, I like to clean my pots with WD-40. You can also use uh, you can also use WD-40 first to clean, and then add on like a, a walnut oil or something like that to give the pot like more of a shine before you exhibit the pot. And so this is very simple. I use WD-40 and an old uh, rag, and I just spray it on here like this. Obviously, I have to make sure that I don't spray the soil or the tree itself or any of the leaves. And then I just use the uh, old rag and I just clean it away as such. And so for some section that are very dirty, I also like to use my sponge and just give it a little scrub. Now take a look at this new section that I cleaned as well as the uh, old section and just compare the two. Now take a look at this pot, as I'm spinning it around here on the table, doesn't it look so much cleaner now than uh, having water stain and fertilizer stains on the pot. Like this, the pot looks uh, nice and clean and it doesn't have too much of a shine to it. It looks just beautiful and very clean. So as you can see, super simple to clean up your pots. And so I do this probably about twice a year on all of my trees. Uh, once I do this right after the summer, and then usually another time once we get into the spring and I move my trees out of the winter storage. Those are usually the two times more or less throughout the year. Of course, if I display a tree at a show, I'll do it right the day before I go and display the tree. All right, so last but not least, we're going to have to clean the tools. So I have three different tools. Um, I have two tools that um, are in need of a cleaning, but they also have rust on them. So we have to remove the rust and for those two, I'm gonna go ahead and use the WD-40 first, spray it on there to get rid of the rust and then use my uh, sponge as well as my old uh, rag 
to clean off the towels and then at the very end I'm going to use the Clorox wipe just to clean the tools again. Now this stainless steel uh, pair of scissors doesn't have any rust on it however if you take a close look at it the blade is completely black which is from sap. So I just use this pair of scissors to clean uh, to trim some ficuses and when you clean ficus your scissors uh, get covered in that black um, sap. So what I use here is just uh, some regular Clorox wipes and I use that to clean the blade and it comes right off and so whenever I prune uh, a certain type of species like ficus and then I'm done cleaning I always like to take a Clorox wipe just clean the blade up before I then use this pair of scissors on another species and I like to do that with all of my uh, scissors in between working uh, on different type of species so let's get to work So I have to admit that it's been a while since I've cleaned these scissors, but I've had them for probably around eight to ten years. Um, they were present from somebody very special to me, and they even engraved my name on the side of the blade. So they're really cool. So I did a, I used a combination of things. So I used a uh, another brush uh, that has even harder bristles. Um, I think that's a copper brush, which actually comes in the same package as the other two brushes. So it's a yeah, package of three and it, and it includes this brush, which is of course very useful in situations like this. So I used uh, WD-40, the brush, to get rid of all of the dirt on here and the uh, old sap. And then at the very end, I clean it up with the uh, Clorox wipes. Now, if you clean your scissors after every use, you wouldn't have to go through all of that. You could just use a Clorox wipe and clean your tools. But since I haven't done this, admittedly, in a while, it took me a while to get it clean, but it looks like the day that I got it about seven, eight years ago. So this is a very effective way to clean your tools and keep them clean as well. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video on how to clean the uh, trunk of your bonsai tree, your tools, as, as well the pots. Now, if there's any uncertainties or you need any more clarifications or you have any more questions about cleaning, Please drop your questions below and I'll gladly answer those for you as always. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great rest of your week and I'll catch you guys next time.